this is my really easy recipe for tagliatelle carbonara. It's not a traditional carbonara. Um, do let me know in the comments below how you like to make your carbonara, but this is how I make mine. So we've got our freshly made pasta which has been rolled, it's been cut and it's been drying for that kind of 10 or 15 minutes just so it's it's got that slightly kind of leathery feel to it. We've got a pan of uh, boiling water here, it's on a rolling boil and it's got a good um, a couple of pinches of um, salt in there and the pasta can go straight into the, the water and that will literally take just a couple of minutes to, uh, to cook. In the pan here I've already started some pancetta so this is just on a, a really low heat just to start to crisp up the, the pancetta just give that uh, a bit of movement and then for the actual sauce I've got all of the ingredients for the sauce in this bowl ready to go so in here we've got um, an egg yolk there's equal quantity cream um, parmesan some lemon zest and some cracked black pepper. So I know, as I said, that's not traditional carbonara, but it's how I like to, to make my carbonara. So that's what we're, we're going with today. And with the pasta, as we can see, it's been in for around about a minute or so. It started to, to move around the, the water. It started to float towards the top and it's getting there. It's very nearly done. With it being fresh pasta, it doesn't take um, that long to cook. You don't need to completely rehydrate it in the same way that you would do with, with a dried pasta from a, from a packet. So now that, uh, that pasta has been cooking for just a couple of minutes, we're going to turn the heat off both the, the rings. So there's enough heat left in this pan to continue the cooking that we're going to do. Um, we're going to transfer the, the pasta across into um, into the pancetta and then add the sauce and we don't want this pan to be too hot at that point because we don't want to scramble the egg we just want to um, to get that, that beautiful sauce um, together. So what we'll do, we'll start with the, the pasta and we'll transfer this across and we want some of that water to come across into the pan as well so that will help emulsify the, the egg and to make that, that sauce. Give that a bit of a stir around. And we'll take our sauce mix. So again that's uh, an egg yolk, equal, equal quantities cream, parmesan, some lemon zest and some crap black pepper. We don't need any additional salt in here so the, the pasta has been cooked in salted water the parmesan adds its own um, saltiness as well so there's no need for any additional salt. Just put that through, give that a stir around and like I say it's the, the residual heat in the pan will, uh, will start to cook the egg. We'll just take a little bit of the pasta water just to loosen it down. That stir around. It comes together as that beautiful carbonara style sauce. And if we now get our serving plate, we get our tongs, we just transfer it across into the plate, making sure we get all the pasta, all those bits of pancetta and all that sauce so there's a couple bits of pancetta we don't want to waste them and there we have it our super easy super tasty carbonara